Hey, I'm Rob Rob. The question of the day is, can we use a $30 white side surfacing bit to kind of work in place of a, a thickness planer? Can we go from something like this, you know, to something like this? I was making, a, I wanted to make some Christmas gifts for some friends and, um, you know, I went out to look for wood at Woodcraft and they had great walnut on sale, but you know, it's all in nice rough fish, you know, I think four over four, however wood's measured, but you know, it's in nice inch thick slabs. Cool. If you want to make something that's an inch thick, but, uh, anyhow, I remembered I had this wonderful machine. Ironically, with a waste board that really, really, really needs to be surfaced. I do actually have the surfacing bit from Whiteside. It's like 30 bucks. I obviously haven't used it in a while. The next thing I did was kind of bolt my wood down and uh, see if I could just shave it to thickness. Um, so I'm gonna cut to some B-roll of that happening. So obviously it did happen. And yes, you can use the white side bit. You know, I, I was able to get, you know, this is actually a little bread box because I, I already gave the thing to Jack. So in a pinch, in lieu of having, you know, a 14 inch bandsaw that can like cut down big boards and a thickness planer, you can just shear that thing with uh, the surfacing bit. It's wasteful, but it'll do in a pinch. And I suppose, you know, a $20 piece of walnut is a lot more manageable than, um, you know, a $1,000 Laguna bandsaw. But uh, in the long term, I would like to get a big bandsaw so I could recut my own pieces because I think I would just make things that are closer to, you know, quarter inch, half inch. Until then, this works. Um, I was able to make the project. My wife didn't laugh at my big thick dungeon master screen. I was able to shave it down to a little more manageable width thickness. Yeah. I was able to get it to a more manageable thickness using the surfacing bit. Um, yeah. So it, it does work.